If the Sindel controversy has proven one thing, it's that a lot of MK fans do not understand the time travel, especially in light of Kronika revealing how many times she's rewound time herself. Part of it is understandable since Kronika rewound time at the end of the game, but then the heroes can still travel back into the timeline that was rewound in Aftermath, where Kronika still exists despite supposedly existing outside of time. The bad writing makes that confusion understandable. But then we have the way the Netherrealm timeline works. A concerningly common rebuttal to the criticism of the inconsistencies brought about by the Sindel retcon is, you're just mad they didn't keep the old continuity that's been irrelevant since 2006. A lot of people seem to think that Kronika's constant resetting of the timeline is supposed to explain all the poor continuity, with inconsistencies placing different games into different timelines. And maybe that's the intent, but the three Netherrealm games are all supposed to be set in one timeline. I've been told that one of the writers did claim that the timeline was reset in between each Netherrealm game, but that is absolute bollocks. Kronika claims that Raiden's actions have irreversibly tainted her work. This is either referring to his use of his amulet, or his decapitation of Shinnok. If the timeline was reset between 9 and X, then Raiden's alteration of the timeline was undone, but Liu Kang brings up his visions in MKX, so the continuation between those two games is clear. If the timeline was reset between X and 11, then Shinnok was decapitated twice, and the one we saw in MKX was undone, and Kronika would have erased Raiden for doing it, as she plans to in MK11. And if either reset did happen then Sean's comments about MK11 Nightwolf remembering his fight with Sindel in 2011 don't make any sense. So if 9, X and 11 are not the same timeline, how exactly has Raiden done irreversible damage to Kronika's plans? If indeed the writers did make that claim then it's yet another example of them trying to justify poor continuity and making themselves look worse. And so, we've poked a hole into another weak argument to support new Sindel and trash fans of the old version. Whether you like the change or not, MK11 Sindel retcon is an inconsistency, and you can't use the argument that she and the version from the previous two games are different iterations. They are not. Netherrealm just sucks at consistency and doesn't respect its characters. If you liked this video, why not subscribe and support me on Patreon like these fine people here? If not, then make sure to share it with your enemies so they can suffer along with you.